It's time for Access the Experts from the University of Nebraska at Omaha with your host, Brandon Aximit. Hello and welcome to another edition of Access the Experts on News Channel Nebraska, where every Tuesday and Thursday, University of Nebraska at Omaha faculty members answer today's questions facing our state. Now today we have the pleasure of hearing from Dr. Olivier Maisondieu Laforge, who is an associate professor of finance, banking, and real estate at UNO. And today we are talking about cryptocurrency, which seemed to be all the rage a couple years ago. So Olivier, today's question is, have there been any developments regarding cryptocurrency, and what is the status of cryptocurrency, and will it ever find its way into the mainstream? Thank you so much for that question. Cryptocurrency is exciting. And I'm going to define it real quick. Governments print money. They decide how much based on how rapidly the economy is growing. Sometimes governments like Venezuela or Zimbabwe might print too much and create lots of inflation, and that could be bad. Transactions from these currencies are also handled by specific companies. Visa, for example, has a bunch of servers. When you go to a store, the information goes to that company, their servers process it, and the money gets sent off to the store you were shopping at. Cryptocurrencies use something called blockchain. Blockchain means the information is on everyone's computer. So when you transact, every computer works together to make sure that was a good transaction and get the money where it belongs. It's actually much more secure because if you're trying to hack someone, it's easier to hack one major corporation than it is to hack half of the computers on earth simultaneously which is what you'd have to do to hack a blockchain. So everyone loves the blockchain security system. Cryptocurrency though, when it creates money, it's a computer that creates money. There's nothing backing it. So you're only gonna believe the money if you believe the money. There's no gold or any Federal Reserve or a Fort Knox in the back. Bitcoin specifically, as a cryptocurrency was a great proof of concept, but it's not a great long-term currency. First, accounts at Bitcoin are anonymous. No one knows you have it, which sounds awesome until you lose your password and you lose all your money. Personally, I like having a bank know me, so when I forget my password, I can go there, show my ID, and I get a new password, and I still have all my money. Bitcoin also is limited in the sense that the amount of money it's gonna print is gonna stop. In a couple of years, there will be no more Bitcoin. The Bitcoin that's out there is all there will ever be, but the world's economy is still gonna to continue to grow. So there'll be less money chasing more goods. That's gonna create a problem. Bitcoin also to conduct a transaction uses too much electricity. You have to verify a transaction is real. The math they did to do that was too hard. So a long-term currency, which I do believe there will be a cryptocurrency in the long run that will be a major player it will have to have the ability to get your passwords back. It will have to have in its programming, the ability to grow the amount of money with the economy. And it will have to have a cheap way of actually conducting the transactions. With that, we will have long-term cryptocurrencies. And thank you very much for asking me this question. Have a great day. Thank you, Olivier, for sharing your expertise on the topic. For our viewers at home, interact with us on NewsChannelNebraska.com. Access the Experts, presented by the University of Nebraska at Omaha. If you have questions, submit them on our website. Then join us every Tuesday and Thursdays at 6.46 a.m. and p.m. while we answer your questions.